welcome back. My name is Allison, this is Wonder Crochet, and today I'm going to show you how to make this puffy amigurumi flower. This is great for any spring decor or to add any large accents to your amigurumi plushes. I'm making these in just about every color so that I can decorate my craft room with them. So if you're new to crocheting and you're new to amigurumi, I have a full online course if you'd like to learn how to crochet from the very beginning. And consider liking and subscribing and giving me a follow on Instagram. So let's get started. For this project, I am using size 6 super bulky yarn. This is Premier Parfait Chunky. I will link it in the description. You can use any yarn that you would like, just make sure that you use the right size hook. So I'll be using yellow for the center of the flower, and I'll be using this pink, it's called Pink Lemonade, for the petals. And with this, I'm using a six millimeter crochet hook. You'll also need some fiber fill stuffing, a tapestry needle, and something to cut with. And then of course, if you like to use a stitch marker, have that on hand as well. So let's jump in. First we're going to start with the center of our flower which will just be a little puff ball like this. So you're going to grab the end of your yarn and we're going to make a slip knot and put that loop onto your hook and pull it tight. Now we are going to chain two And in the second chain from the hook, we are going to do six single crochets all into that same stitch. And then you're going to pull that tight so that there's no hole in the center there, and that is what it should look like. Next, we are going to do six increases. So an increase is two single crochets into the same stitch, so we'll do that for these six stitches. So insert your hook, do one single crochet, and then another, and there's your first increase. You'll do that five more times. And after you've done that last increase, I'm going to insert a stitch marker just to keep track of where I am. And next you are going to single crochet around for one round, so that'll be 12 stitches, in the back loops only. So here's our front loop right here, and there's our back loop. We're going to insert our hook into that back loop only and do a single crochet. So let's do that again. In that back loop only, single crochet. Now you'll do that in the next 10 stitches for a total of 12. Now we're going to flip our work to make sure that the correct side is showing. And for this next round, we are going to single crochet around for one round in each stitch. So that's 12 stitches. So just like the last round, except we're crocheting in the front and back loops. And for this next round, we are going to do a round of decreases, and we are going to do those in the back loops only. So we're going to grab our fiber fill stuffing, and we're going to stuff as we go. And I'm going to be doing invisible decreases. So what we're going to do is you're going to insert your hook into the next stitch, and that will be in the back loops only. And then you're going to grab the back loop of the next stitch as well. Pull up a loop and then pull through again. And there's your first decrease. So you'll do five more of those. Insert your hook into the first stitch there, the back loops only, 
and do the same thing with the next stitch. Pull that loop through and pull it through again. And we'll start to stuff that center of the flower as we go along. So let's continue to decrease. And after you do your last decrease, we are going to pull up a little tail and we're going to cut that. And then to close up this opening here, you are going to weave this yarn in through the front loops of all these stitches here. And once you get the whole way around, you can pull that closed. And then I like to just tie a little knot here to keep that closed and then pull that tight. And you'll see that it's not shaped right, so you'll just want to flatten out and tuck this tail in. And there's the center of your flower. Now let's move on to the petals. Now you're going to grab your petal color and we will be making a petal just like this. And you'll actually be making seven of them. So I'll show you how to make the first one and then we can pause while we make the other ones. So you're going to grab the end of your yarn, make a slip knot, put that on your hook and pull that tight. We're going to chain two and in the second chain from the hook you are going to do six single crochets You're going to pull that tight and then just as we did for the center we're going to increase the whole way around so you're going to insert your hook into the next stitch do a single crochet and then do another single crochet into that same stitch and that's your first increase now let's do five more increases This is where I like to insert my stitch marker and next we are going to single crochet around and we're going to single crochet the whole way around so that's 12 single crochets for three rounds. Make sure that you flip your work so that the correct side is showing and single crochet around for two more rounds.
Now we are going to do one single crochet and one decrease and repeat that for a total of four. So we are going to do our single crochet here and then we're going to do an invisible decrease. So grab the front loop of the next two stitches, grab your yarn, pull it through, and grab your yarn and pull it through. So now we're going to repeat that three more times. So single crochet, invisible decrease, single crochet, decrease, and one more time, single crochet and decrease. Now we're going to grab our fiber fill stuffing and we're going to start to stuff this petal. Next we are going to single crochet around for one round. So that's one single crochet in each of the stitches. and you are going to stuff your petal a little bit more. And the last round for the petal, you are going to single crochet two, decrease one, two times. So we're going to do one single crochet, two single crochets, and then a decrease. And then do the same thing one more time. And remove your stitch marker and then I like to do a slip stitch so we can fasten off and leave a little bit of a tail for sewing and if you're a crocheter who is adverse to sewing don't worry I'll walk you through it it can actually be pretty relaxing so pull that tail tight and there's your first petal so you'll make six more of these for a total of seven petals. So we'll pause right here and come back whenever you finish those. Now that we have all seven of our petals in the center part, we are going to sew everything together. So you're going to grab your tapestry needle and I like to pin it in place with another tapestry needle and this is just a long sewing needle. You can also use T-pins, just be careful uh, not to poke your hands because they are pretty sharp. So we're going to grab the center and the first petal and you are going to put it right on that flat part on the side and then I'm going to just pin it in place. You can also use um, knitting needles for this as well. So we'll just pin it just like that and yes it does look silly. And take the end there And then we are going to sew this on. So how I sew my amigurumi pieces is you are going to go right through that stitch there, pull that through, and then you're going to sew up through the other piece. And then go on to the next one. And yes, this yarn does shed a bit whenever you're sewing.
And once you sew that first one on, I like to make a little knot first. So you're going to weave that end in and then weave that back through just to make a knot to make sure it's secure. And then pull that tail through and you can either tuck this in or you can just cut it off and tuck in the tail. So there's your first petal and let's do the other six. And there is your puffy crochet flower. You can always shape the petals to fill it out a little bit more. Or if you like kind of that daisy look, then you can leave them as is. But you can make any color out of these. These make great decor or a big accent on your amigurumi. So if you like what you see here today, consider liking and subscribing. And comment down below what tutorial you'd like to see next. We'll see you real soon.